It definitely looks different. Hi! <laughs> hey! Where is everybody? Yeah. We, okay, we're here, different. I think my camera is different. Angie's is the same. We Mine turned is... we turned Mary on the suggestion of another of a friend, we turned Marion's camera yeah. sideways. Um, and I have to watch it. See how this, it. yeah, how this looks online. Uh, online, because because as far as we put this on YouTube, yeah, we're told that the sideways is better for on YouTube. So we will, we'll see. We we'll see. So hi everybody, welcome to Shine with Marion and Angie. Ja, ja, hi. yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what Yours are we doing? It's like foggy on one side. No, yeah, because your camera is right there. You think that's what that that's, is? I think that's what it is. Okay. It's okay. It's relaxing. We're trying. The mist. We're trying. We're trying. Yeah. yeah. We're trying. The, the um, maidens in the mist. Yes. Isn't yes. that like a ride? Is that a that's is that it's something? It's a movie. Is that something? Is that a movie? I don't, I don't know. know. Me either. Okay. Hi everyone. So we are here to teach moms how to overcome the guilt of self care in a way that is honoring to God and themselves so yep. they can give out of their abundance. Yep. And our inspirational verse is love your neighbor as yourself because in order to love somebody else, you first have to love yourself. Exactly. So tune in every week as we are digging in and learning more and more about what it means to have self-care and to learn how to be the best yes, you because we're learning right along with you. Exactly, exactly. And because self-care is more than just a bubble bath. It is more yeah. than a bubble bath. Yes. When was the last time you took a bubble bath? Oh, not too long ago. Really? Yeah, not too long ago. I, I actually, after, you know, working a couple of houses. houses. Yeah. Yeah, it just felt like... Do you actually do bubbles or do you do like Epsom salt? Epsom salt and bubbles. I think and it was... makes bubbles when you have Epsom no, 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 salt? No, 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 I put soap in it too. No, but I mean the soap makes bubbles even though the Epsom salt is in it? Yes, yes. It has no sign. Yes. Witten... Your like salt? water, like water, like soft water. One of the soft water, hard water. One of them yes. doesn't make good bubbles. Yeah, well, I don't. It's not like yeah, giant bubbles, but there is. Because I remember transition. showering somewhere yeah. and my shampoo would not foam, and the person I just I don't understand the soft water, hard water. It's yes. never what, which way I think it. Like soft water, I think has more minerals in it, and hard water has less minerals I in it. Know. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, so. Anyway, self care is more than a bubble bath. Yes, exactly. So, we have the marvelous, magnificent Ms. Marion here with us. Thank you. Single mom to two young men. And um, she has learned over the years, yes. um, as a single mom, how to lean into Christ as she raised those boys and kept them on the straight and, path. and narrow. And narrow path, exactly. And here we have the audacious, amazing Angie. <laughs> who has been alongside her husband, John, for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> More than 30 years. years. You know, and with Christ leading and raising three boys into adulthood. And they even homeschooled all three of them. Yeah, we did. And, you know, she recently decided to become a doula. So I'm, you are I'm, your like, I'm like this close. This close. Yay! You know when you get at the end of a race, like just... Yes. And it's always the hardest not to give it up. It is because I'm already looking beyond um, the end. Yes. But I need to focus on, on the, the next the finish. Is, yes. And, the and next. not get distracted by what's next. Exactly. And that's exactly. hard. That's hard. I just finished the book uh, listening. You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I'm i reading lots of books lately. You know, I have multiples one going and then I'm listening to some on Audible. So Atomic Habits. I find oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, uh, yes. And, you know, it's, it's really very good. good. I so, took lots of notes on that one. Yes. Maybe I need to find my notes and go back and read those. Exactly. Atomic Habits. If I'm... you need a, a really good book, read that. I think it's on my nightstand. Yes. From when I read it, maybe. So, okay. Oh, but before we dive into that. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, girl. A little bit of self-care right now. Okay. Roll the shoulders. Back. Did I just see lightning outside? Oh, roll nice. the shoulders and then roll them forward. Oh, and wow. Up, up and drop them. That's the best part. Yeah, and the tongue. And then make sure your tongue's not on the roof of your mouth. We hold, like, all the tension in your jaw yeah. and down your neck. It's, um, it's, That's right. that tongue is up on the roof of your mouth. Yes. We're having weather in Texas. Yes. So our subject actually about nap time and what great it is today is the perfect weather here it in is. Texas. It is. It's all for nap overcast time. and yes, it's been it's been raining in places. It hasn't yes. really rained at our house. Yeah, it's but, but Mary yeah. said it rained in her yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Temple, we're working and it rained. It's been raining since like two ish. 
It's supposed to like it's some sort of tropical disturbance. Yes, no, it's like Albert. That. Oh, did they get a name? They, they got a name. He, he finally developed to be, a, to be a name. I think it's Albert. Something. I think you're right. I think Something. I saw that. Yeah. So, But we're praying Mason. that it gives rain to more southern Texas. Because they need it. They need it desperately. And specifically, the Canyon Lake, whatever drains mm -hmm. into Canyon Lake, really needs that rain. Mm -hmm. um, that lake is only like at 50%. I know. I know. That's and it, scary. it gives water to San Antonio yeah. and all that yeah, yeah. area. That's a lot of people. Exactly. Hopefully, I don't know. Do they? I don't know if they've got more lakes than that. But um, anyway, we've got like a tropical thing. It's. I think it's going to be a. Maybe it's going to be a wet summer. Yeah. Because it's early. Yeah, it's early. In the this is, we're just at the beginning of like hurricane season. I know. So and tornado and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so this <laughs> week's I am. This week's I am is. I have. I have rest <laughs> promised to me by my heavenly Father. And this comes from Hebrews four three. For only we who believe can enter his rest. As for the others, God said, in my anger, I took on oaths. They will never enter my place of rest. Even though this rest has been, been made, re ready, made and ready since, since he made, made the, the world. world. Okay, oh, that That's a lot of verse there. Is, There's a lot yes. of up, a lot of to digging in, but mm -hmm. we're not going to dig into that. We're just going to dig mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the promise of rest yes. comes with a condition. Yes. And this isn't like necessarily phys just physical rest. This is more spiritual, mental. emotional, no. mental. mental rest that he's talking about okay. here. Yes. Um, it comes with it. We must believe mm -hmm. that God is our creator yeah. and Christ is our savior. And when you can hold on to that, mm. that gives you automatically. <sighs> yeah. Yes, because he's in control. You're not. Yep. And and not and knowing what is to come huh? yes. has always given me a peace. peace. Exactly. Um, no matter what that means, that knowing to come. No. Yes. So when we hear God calling us and we embrace Him, we can have rest. Yes. In knowing that one day we will spend eternity in heaven mm -hmm. with Him. Yes. Where there's only perfection. There's exactly. there's nothing. There's no wrongs. There's no no nothing. And there's no tired. In there's heaven. no. I'm tired. No. Only peace, love. And so much rejoicing. Amen. Amen to that. So, let it be, though. Let it be. I love yes. that. I still love that. Yes. So, did you Me get too. a nap today? Did you? Were you cranky? I know. My little guy, yesterday, yeah. I spent um, the last couple of days with my um, grandson mm -hmm. um, while his mom was on a business trip. Yeah. And we were very, very, very nervous about how he was going to do. This was their first long separation. And he did amazing. Yeah. He did yes. so well. Mm -hmm. um, I complimented his mom and dad that they are doing a fantastic job of just raising a really secure little boy. Yeah. Because he did really well. But. <laughs> he didn't want you to leave. He didn't want me to leave. But yesterday he was, um, I was leaving and it was time that he would take an yeah. afternoon nap. And um, he was a little bit cranky mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. He needed it. <laughs> and it was obvious. It's obvious. Maybe Daddy got a nap with him too. I don't know how that worked out. I know they were able to go get um, Jesse from the airport and everything, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how the whole cranky Cooper thing panned out. But this was my first time going. Bye, Dad. It's yours. <laughs> I didn't have to deal with it. That was kind of amazing. That was kind of fun. That's amazing. There's always a first. There's always a first. And did you actually know that teenagers need naps too? Yeah. Because with their bodies growing, again, they're growing what the baby's going yeah. through. So many changes as a so, teenager. Yes, yes. Puberty and all of this. So they, they actually, so let your teenager yeah. take naps. If they're tired, let them sleep. Yes, they get very cranky. And oh, it's a different kind of cranky. Yeah, it's not fun. So, no. And I know as adults that we often need naps too. But yeah. do we get them? Not usually. No. No. We just add yes. caffeine. Yes, and supplements to our afternoon just to keep on pushing we push through. through that tired. Yes. So, in American culture does not We don't value, value rest. We value work. American culture is all about work, work and work, how work. hard you work and... How much you can produce. How much you can produce. But I'm yes. seeing a trend. Yes, yes. Amongst the... I had to look it up which ones they were. The millennials yes. and, and the, the Gen, Gen Zs. Yeah. And they are taking more time for rest and leisure yes and things that they enjoy yeah well they have uh the the, the boomers and the gen x's they've seen us work 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 yep. and you know and mentally isn't it all to promote it to be you no, know it's, it's not, not all out for it so i did some research i dug into mm -hmm. this whole nap thing 
Yes. And I wanted to know, what are the health benefits of a nap? Yes. Oh, actually, you know, the, it boosts your workplace performance by improving memory, logical reasoning, and the ability to com uh, complete complex tasks. And they've done so, research. This has been research. This isn't just, you know, yeah. you're according to who. Um, a nap can even improve your physical performance. Yes. Athletes mm -hmm. experience um, improved endurance, reaction times, and cognitive performance mm -hmm. after taking an afternoon nap. Right. And then the studies found napping once or twice a week can lower the risk of our ca cardiovascular problems. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I get the hard word right here. <laughs> and a nap can make a make up, you know, for bad night sleeps uh, and allows us to handle stress way better oh yeah because i know if i'm tired i do not handle difficult things no well at all me neither or like intricate tasks or things like that forget it no, um, no but yeah so a nap can help us overcome that exactly um it can make up for um it improves our immune system too yeah and interestingly this was where my mm -hmm. aha was yes. the length of a nap is important yes i i, I knew that so too long of a nap can have a negative mm -hmm. impact on an adult's health. So what is the ideal length mm -hmm. of a nap? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's Not it. Not more. I, I, I do get less. However, I rest for 30 minutes. But I sleep mm. usually, when I get a nap, 10 to 20 minutes. And I'm good. And so then I rest a little bit. That's why I've always avoided yes. naps. Hmm. Because I was taking too long of a nap, and I'd wake yes. up more tired yeah. and groggy and cranky yes. than I was before I'd lay down to take a nap. But yeah. a 30-minute nap is the ideal time. And the reason is... Um, this it's, prevents... It, yeah, it prevents the body from going into a deeper REM sleep. That which REM makes sleep. It, yes, a REM sleep, which makes it easier to wake up without feeling that crogginess yep. what you're explaining. Yeah. And that was my aha, and explains why for me that I used to always avoid naps. I was sleeping too long. Yeah. Do you know that there's other cultures, <laughs> that, you know, who have a siesta, a nap time? Yep, they incorporate a nap into their um, into their rhythm of their day, into yes. their culture. Um, when I lived in Spain right. yeah. as a teenager, um, this was a long back time in the ago. '80s. Oh, I have to tell a story about back this in too. the back in the '80s, and um, the the Spanish um, people. Mm -hmm. the, they would the kids would come home from school. Their yes. lunch is their biggest meal of the day, first of yes. all. Yes. Yeah. So the kids would come home from school. Businesses would close. Yes. Um. Everybody would go home. They would have their meal, and they would take siesta. They would take a nap. I know because it's the hottest day part of the day. Anyway, kind of makes so, sense. You know, it makes sense. You know, and plus they don't have air conditioning. No, over there. there was no air conditioning. Yes. No, there was. Because. When we lived off base. There was no air conditioning, but praise mm -hmm. God, we lived right on the beach, and so there was always, always a breeze. A cool going. breeze. But anyway, That's yeah. Good. So other cultures observe siesta yes, too. Yeah, yeah, Greece, Italy, and other Mediterranean countries, along with the countries where there is the, the afternoon heat intense. Yeah, you India, know? India was on that list, yeah. and um, like South America, some of the countries in South America. It seems that um, when I was doing my research, that siesta originated with the ancient Romans. Yeah, which is pretty smart if you ask me. Yes, because they there was no cooling. That was yes. the hottest Ex day. Yes, exactly. So you know, no AC. You just stay right. in the heat. You you just stay on there. And now since uh, now then blah, blah, blah. now that we know that science backs the benefits of nappies, science also confirms uh, what the Bible teaches. Yep. So we want to bring it back to so the Bible. So what does the Bible say about rest? Yeah. We're going to just talk about physical rest. We're not yes. going to talk about spiritual and all this. or the no. other, other types of rest. We're talking about a physical body rest. kind of rest. And we know no, that God no, rested. No, on the seventh day. He said, you know, the sixth day of creation. And then the seventh day, God finished his work that he was done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. And you know that, um, I just learned this the other day. We are not resting or doing the Sabbath for God, it's for us oh, yeah. to honor God yep. and to honor our body and our and yeah. us. God did not need he, the rest. He, no, God does not no, need it. He didn't need it, but so, he did it as an example mm -hmm. yes. to mankind. Exactly. And the fourth of the Ten Commandments even tells us to remember the Sabbath. Yes. And keep it holy. It's in <laughs> Exodus 28. The, and and the, did you guys know the word Sabbath comes from the Hebrew word Shavat. Shavat means to rest. rest. So, 
God wants us to rest. rest. Yeah. And even God rested. rested. In Christ, yes. When he when God became man and, and he was on earth, Christ knew he needed the rest. So scripture tells us the time when Christ was crossing the lake with his disciples and he nope. slept. He even fell asleep in the boat. With a storm going on. He wasn't and the, worried. The disciples had to wake him up. Um, yeah. But Christ was night. resting from all that he had done. His yes. his I, I think I think his man body. Yes. His human body needed the rest. Yes. Is um why I think he needed rest because anyway. Yeah. Um, so he was asleep in the boat and he needed the rest. And like many of us, he was woken up by the disciples when there was a storm. Yes. The storm mm -hmm. was threatening to sink the boats. The disciples were freaking out. Jesus woke up. He calmed the storm. Oh, yes. But anybody still have kids, little ones, maybe even your you big up. ones that wake you up in, in the, the middle, middle of the night? night? Yes, because they're gaming. Oh. You know? Yeah. They wake yeah. you up because they're still gaming. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. Or now, when the house is empty, what do you have? Dogs yeah. and yeah. cats. Dogs and cats. Yes, that the dogs want out, the cats want to be fed. Yes, exactly. In the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, interesting what, fact. Okay. This was cool to find out. Yes, the Jewish law forbids snapping for more than a half hour. And what is the ideal length of a nap? Thirty minutes. Yes. Hold on, where are we? Hmm. Hmm. So, since science backs this all up, and God wants us to rest, He wants us to physically rest. So, do you get to take a nap? Do you prioritize it? Is that, that physical rest? It, can you do this without feeling guilty? Mm. You know, because you're actually doing something for yourself. This is your self care. Yeah, Mary, do you you you? you I, I know that you have nap. have always like napped at some point. Or yes. Another. What is a nap in your world? A, a nap is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it, I some some days. I, I exhaust myself so much, you know, with going, going, going. My, my day starts early and then I go because I have the most energy. And, right. you know, right after lunch, I have my downer. While I'm at work, coffee and supplements keep me going for yeah. the rest. Even, yes, I do slow physically down. Right. But a nap, when I can get one and there's no work or, or on the weekends... It just rejuvenates me. But you don't take a long nap usually. No, no, the ten, week. no, no, 10 minutes. I close my eyes for 10 minutes. Sometimes, like, you know, you go in the car or you just, you know, like... Put your head down or take the seat back. back. Yes, 10 minutes. I've heard of people going in the bathroom and sitting on the toilet no, backwards. Oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> no. No, we only okay. It it, it, it wouldn't work on like an industrial or commercial yes. style toilet, but like a residential Children, style toilet. Yeah, but they not. Go and they put their head. I never heard of it. But we only have one bathroom, oh, and it's five or six of us, and we're girls. Five so. or six women. Yeah, we need a bath. No, it wouldn't work. No, that wouldn't work. But I've heard of people doing that. Okay. So well, can you prioritize, prioritize it? it? Can you allow oh, yourself? It. Yes. Can you allow it? Can you? Fit it in, in your lunch break. And make it okay with you? Yes. That's hard. That's a hard one for me, is yes. to make it okay. okay. Yes, but what is 10 minutes? Come on, because don't we all scroll? Set a timer, right? Right? And yes. Do exactly. we all not scroll? Yes. And why? Yeah. But you close your and eyes try for to 10 unplug. Minutes. Yes. Really unplug. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, we hope hmm. we've helped you to eliminate some of the guilt around the idea of a need for a nap. Yes. We need a few naps each week. Yeah. It's just, even just twice a week is it's helpful. helpful. Yeah, it improves your mental and your physical health. So when you arrest it, it keeps your cup full and it overflows to cells around you. Around you. So take a nap so you can be the best, best you. you. In the comments, let us know mm -hmm. if you allow yourself naps. Yes. I want to. I'm curious. Is this just us? That's that. Yeah. Figured this out or didn't or figure yes. this out. Um, what, what is your, can you do this? Can you allow yourself? Are you taking naps? Are you a master in taking naps? Because a professional nap taker. Maybe because people like this out there. Maybe. Cool to know. We'll be cool yep, to know. Yep, yep, yep. Let us know. And, and watch it. When you watch it, put it on replay. And like I said, tomorrow it will be on, um, on YouTube. And um, share. 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 Yes. Because I put a post. I, I don't. Oh, has it published yet? I don't know. I challenged us to have 10 shares of our live this week. Okay. I think it's a post that's coming, coming up. up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It hasn't I've, been I've, yet. I've, I've, um, I want the goal of, of 10 mm. original mm. unique shares. shares of the live from this week. Yes. And whoever the 10th person is, is going to get a prize. 
Did you hear this? You get a prize. If you don't know what the prize is yet, but it'll be something fun. Uh, yes. Out of our goodie box over here. Yeah, we'll, we have lots of cool stuff. Yep. Like so. to be the best you, to relax, to be some self-care, to do something for you. So when this is finished and it posts, mm -hmm. hit the share, share button, button. Say, hey, these women are awesome. So, you need to listen. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and they have something, but say it. something genuine. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, anyway, okay. we, we love, love you guys. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great week. Bye.